this uh, module four. Okay, so any other questions so far with this example number one? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Get to the Yes, sir. A question. Sure. All right. So, next example, I uh, have this uh, ordered pair or relation. And then we have uh, this arrangement one, two, three, four, A, B, C, and D. But when it comes to orderings in matrices, so just be wary on this one. So, as you can see right here, we have two, three, four, one for your rows, and then D, B, A, C for your column. Okay. So, Two, three, four, one, DBAC. Okay. So look for one B. So we have here one and then B. So just make this one one. And then we have here one B. So which is now this one, one B. And then two C, which is this one. And then three C, which is this one. And then three B, which is again this one. And then four A is this one. So as you can see, uh, plotting the uh, corresponding uh, arrangement on matrices is easy, but the one thing that you need to uh, be wary is the two, three, four, one for the arrangement uh, or the orderings of this relative uh, order pair. Okay, it's the same with Y, which is DBAC. So that is why we have the note here the matrix of a relation from X to Y is dependent on the orderings of x and y. Okay. Did you guys get this one so far? Yes, sir. Gets no one both. Okay, so similar example, but just a different orderings. All right, so let's have another example. So write the matrix of the relation R from 2, 3, 4 to 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So relative to the orderings, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, we're in, we don't have a problem when it comes to our things, which is the same. But then you have to follow this condition for us to come up with a certain uh, list of relations. For in x is related to y if x divides y. Again, this x divides y is y divided by x. We're in, uh, we'll have a zero remainder or we'll have a result of uh, even a uh, number. All right, so let's see. So y is five, six, seven, eight. So five, two. So five, two is a no-no. Five, three is a no-no. Five, four is a no-no also. But in six, two, and then six, three, then that's a time that uh, we are now uh, in relation with each other. Correct? Six, two, and six, three. Yes, sir. Six, two, six, three. Six divided by two is even. And then six divided by three is also even. So that is why you have to plot here 1 and then 1, 6, 2, and then 6, 3. How about 7, 2, no, 7, 3, no, 7, no. 4, no. But for the 8, so it's 8, four. 2, and 8, 4. Okay? So 8, 2, and then 8, and four. 8, 4. Okay. So did you guys understand example number 3? Sure. Yes, sir. Good. Again, if you guys have a question, so feel free to ask me anytime. Okay, so let us now move on to the example number four. So write the matrix of the relation A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, B, C, and then C, B on uh, A, B, C, D relative to the ordering A, B, C, and D. So no problem when it comes to ordering. So uh, A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D. So we have here the A, A, B, B, C, C, uh, C, B, C, C, and then uh, D. So as you can see right here, this one is reflexive, having one line for the A, A, B, B, C, C, and then D. And then this one is also, uh, call this one, symmetric, okay? Because we have B, C, and then we have C, okay? So understood when it comes to example number four? Yes, sir. Okay. And is this transitive? B, C, C, B, B. No, this one is not transitive. So this one is only reflexive and then symmetric. All right. So uh, with the use of those examples, so I hope you were able to understand what this matrix is all about. So once you're done understanding all of those and 
Uh, you may know first the answering this is it brick number eight. Okay. So find the matrix of the relation R from X to Y rel to the given orderings. So the orderings are already given in here, and then we have here the re uh, relations. So I need you guys to plot this one. So you should come up with this kind of uh, answer for one, two, three, and then four and five. Okay. And for six, seven, eight, so it's the opposite. Okay. So you should come up with the relation R, okay, which is similar with this one. All right. So I'll give you guys 10 seconds to take a look on your seat break number eight. And then just let me know if you have a clarification. All right. So any concerns so far regarding with your, uh, with your seat break number eight? How about the others? Wala po, sir. All right. Okay, let's now move on to the next one. We have here the uh, representation on a matrix of reflexive properties. As you can see, we have AA, BB, CC, and then BB. So this one is a, a, a relation R is reflexive if and only if the matrix, matrix has ones on the main diagonal. So this is the main diagonal. Okay. And we also have symmetric property if we have this kind of uh, representation on the matrix. So we have this and then we have CB. Okay. So let's now move on to the uh, matrix multiplication. So let R1 be the relation from 1, 2, 3 to Y, AB, and define as R1 is 1A, 2B, 3A, AB. Okay. So this one is just a random relation that came from uh, this uh, sets. Okay. And then we have another uh, relation. So let R to be the relation from Y to Z, wherein uh, Z is equal to X, Y, Z, defined by R2, uh, AX, AY, DY, and then DZ. Okay. So here's the uh, matrix representation of your R1. And then here's the matrix representation of your R2. Okay. So we have 1A, 2B, 3A, and then 3B. And then we have AX, AY, BY, and then BZ for this one. Now, the question here is, we have to multiply R1 to R2, or R1 times R2. Okay, so here's the solution. Okay, so here's the R1, and then here's the R2. And then here's the product of the matrix from R1 to R2. Okay, so how how did we come up with this one? Okay, so let me just copy this one and then show it step by step on this uh, paint. So the first thing that you need to check here is the uh, size of your matrix. Okay. So in our R1, we have here uh, a 3 by 2 matrix. Oops, three by two matrix. So three is your row and then uh, two is your column. So as you can see, we have three rows and then two columns. So this is the size of your R1. And then for the R2, what is the size of R2? Two by three. Two by three. So as you can see right here, we have two rows and then three columns. Okay. This is now the size of your R2. All right. So uh, the question here is we have to multiply the R1 to your R2. But before you can do that, uh, there is uh, one thing that you need to check. Okay. Let me just erase this one.
All right. So from here, you have to check the size of your column from the first relation or first uh, matrix to the row of the second matrix. So they, oops, those two should be equal with each other. Okay. So if they are not equal, then you won't be able to uh, get the product of those two matrices. Okay. So from here, we have the same two uh, columns and then two rows. Okay. So if it's checked, then you can now proceed in getting the product of those two relations. So how will you know what is the size of the uh, product from those two relations or from those two matrix? So all you do is multiply the row of the first matrix to the column of the second matrix. So as you can see, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Okay, or 3 by 3, or the size of your uh, product is 3 by 3, which is now this one. So 3 rows and then 3 columns. So did you guys get this one so far? Yes, yes sir. All right. So <laughs> next one is the computation. Okay, so how did we come up with this one, 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 two, one? Okay, so uh, here's the process. So you have to multiply this row to this column. Okay, so one times one is one plus zero times zero is zero. So 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, okay, which is now this one. Okay. How about the second or the second one, which is uh, under y? So the same process. So the row from your first matrix and oops, the column on your second matrix. So just multiply this one to this, so 1 times 1 is 1, and then 0 times 1 is 0, which is still uh, 1. Okay, so 1 plus 0 is equal 1, which is now is 1. And then for the third one, so just multiply this row to the last column. Okay, so this one so this zero. So one times zero is zero plus zero times one is still zero. So zero plus zero is zero, which is now this one. Okay, so can you guys follow so far? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So if you want to solve for the second color of the or the product, so use this one instead. So multiply this to the first column, and then you will get this one. Multiply this second uh, row to the second column, then you will get this one. And then this one to the third column, then you will get this one. So the same with the uh, third row, okay? So multiply this one to get, uh, multiply this one here to get this one, and then this, to the second column to get the second column, and then this to the last column to get the last column, last column, last row. Okay, so I will leave the second row and then third uh, row as your, you know, as your uh, self study uh, example. Okay, and how did we come up with those? All right, so let's say uh, we have already. Uh, computed everything and then come up with this uh, result. Okay. So the next one here is the composite 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 relation R two O R one. Well, this one is super uh, simple. Once you saw uh, a one, okay, or a non-zero term. So no matter what is the a uh, number, uh, or the value of that uh, certain row and column. So just change that one into one. 
So as you can see right here, we have two here. But when it comes to R2O, R1, or composite relation, that one will become one. So if we have, let's say, 25, 30, 36, 80, 1,000, so all of those non-zero term will just become one, okay? Which is now is one. So did you guys get the matrix multiplication so far and the composite relation? Yes, sir. All right. So once you're done in those uh, topics, then you may now proceed and answer C break number nine. So this is already the last one. So uh, I apologize uh, for giving a lot of activities since uh, we already uh, lag behind when it comes to the one target time for our uh, modules. All right. So you have nine seat breaks for this module four. So it is already in your canvas. So just check that one and then just do uh, it one by one then, you know, uh, of course do it as of now or starting now. Okay, so that's it for your uh, module four. So don't you guys have a question? All right, so if you guys do not have a question yes. anymore, then uh, you guys may no go. And then thank you for coming. Thank you. For thank, you sir. thank you, 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 sir.